Every single day, there's more and more information coming out about this new Eminem album. First, it was Dr. Dre confirming it on the Jimmy Kimmel show. Eminem is working on his own album, which is coming out this year. Then there was a bunch of leaks floating around, and now there's this text message thing that we just talked about in the last video. If you're not caught up, Eminem posted this. It's Invisible Ink on iMessage. It reveals, and for my last trick, it says Friday, May 31st at midnight. We know the album's coming in summer, so May 31st didn't make sense for the album, but I have new rumors around that. So if you notice up at the top, it's a bunny rabbit wearing a hat. We also broke down that lyric right here, your buzz wear down like a rabbit out a hat. So Eminem's mentioned this before, but people are taking last trick and expecting it to mean Eminem's last album. Now, if we go back and watch the original trailer that was posted, what was it, four weeks ago now? You can see it's the alter ego Slim Shady. I'll play the rest of it right now, but it's not Eminem retiring. The murder of Slim Shady has become one of the most infamous cold cases in American history. Join me as- Which we know Eminem and Slim Shady are supposed to be different people. More proof to back that up was right here. I knew it was just a matter of time for Slim. Basically showing that Eminem's still alive and that he could have done it. But that makes me want to go back to this text message. So for my last trick, what is the last trick? Is it the single before the album? Is it more promo? Is it merch? There's so much that it could be, but I really think I have a good understanding what he means by this. Now, shout out to this dude in my comment section. He says, if you flip the letters around in last trick, you get track list. At first, that sounds like a reach. I mean, it's supposed to be like a magician bunny thing. So last trick, I mean, that lines up. That doesn't have anything to do with track list, but it is completely an anagram. Like the letters do match up if you flip them around. Another thing that doesn't make too much sense to me at least you guys could explain if it makes sense to you if you're supposed to be receiving the text message because he's texting you if that's how that's supposed to be it says all contacts so why is slim shady's name all contacts the only explanation i would have for that is that it's supposed to be a group chat maybe and it's like all of eminem's fans in a group chat and he's saying in for my last trick like he's texting all of us but that still just doesn't seem right to me that doesn't really add up or make sense so let me know what you think and to be honest with you i buy into this tracklist rumor i believe that may 31st at midnight he's gonna drop the tracklist along with the single so on apple music when someone drops a single you can usually click on the single and see the album that it's in it'll show the death of slim shady and i believe it's going to show the whole track list probably not the features though some people were saying after revival eminem claimed he would never show the track list again just because people kind of form an opinion before the album comes out maybe they hate it just off like the names of the tracks or the features i know people like travis scott oftentimes hide the features so that you can't even see who's on the album until it comes out so your first listen through is like authentic you can kind of see that on this reddit thread right here has anyone noticed track list is an anagram of last trick which by the way it really does feel like a reach but with Eminem's wordplay it's totally something he would do like he could think of this it could be hinting at May 31st being the tracklist reveal along with a single in my opinion because you got to keep in mind there's been no lead single so far and people drop singles before the album not only to build a pipe but because the streams from your single get added to the album so if I were to drop a song right now get a thousand streams maybe and then drop an album before the album even comes out it already has a thousand streams so it really helps boost your numbers and when a lot of people consider you the goat and a lot of people hate on you you want to prove that you're good right and you want to get those streams so i feel like he's going to want to boost it with the single this guy right here says you might be cooking but then again i don't think he'd reveal a track list after revival but keep paying close attention because with his old merch drop a couple months ago it really hints at something with this album something i just thought of while recording this i didn't even put this in my notes or anything rabbit is like b rabbit from eight mile we said that in the last video but b rabbit was known for being a battle rapper right like he dissed people People, all that and that's totally something that Eminem could do on this album especially if he's going back to the old Slim Shady persona so maybe B Rabbit's back maybe he disses people who knows but I want to show you guys this crazy reddit thread I found this has to be trolling by Paul right or did I genuinely stumble onto something today I'm not going to read through this whole thing but I'm going to just show you like the summary of it so if you click on this photo this is just a merch promo that Eminem dropped a couple months back but there's a picture of Slim Shady right here and there's a deck of cards with a five a three and a one now remember that five three one would be May 31st which is the same thing that was in the last trick right here may 31st sounds like a coincidence someone sent me this like a week ago and i just dismissed it i didn't really think anything of it it's just a deck of cards but yeah keep in mind the five the three and the one and the may 31st then another eminem merch drop i don't know if this is the same one or like if this is months before but either way this is obviously planned you can see deck of cards right here at the bottom of the photo there's a zoomed in one right here three one so you can't really see this third card, but it's 3-1, like 31st, maybe, maybe, just a rumor, not confirmed at all. But then this is where it gets really weird. So he sends his receipt. Basically, he ordered three pieces of merch. Two of them got there in time, but the two blank white t-shirts were $75, so very overpriced for white t-shirts, right? He thinks they're coming with something else because they ship separately. It says they're going to ship on or around May 31st. In what world do we have May 31st in the deck of cards? Obviously, that's like a reach on its own. The 31st with the 3-1 in the deck of cards. The blank white t-shirts that are overpriced shipping on the same day 
that Eminem just teased on this photo. Like, they all line up for no reason. So what did the t-shirts have to do with anything? I think that the fact they're $75 for two blank t-shirts, basically, shows that something else is going to be inside. And if they're shipping May 31st, I think there's going to be album promo in there. Maybe that's like a poster. Maybe it's a CD. Who knows? But if you order this, I believe you're lucky because $75, I don't think a lot of people order that for two white t-shirts. But if you did, you might have gotten a rare Eminem album. We'll find out soon, though. Before I move on, I just want you guys to let me know. Am I crazy? Like, is this a reach? The 531, 531, you know, the 31 right here, the merch on 531. Is that a reach or do you think that it has like any validity to it? I think it has something to it, but I've also been wrong before, so who knows? I also wanted to highlight this comment on my last video. At first, I agreed with him, but after finding this out with a deck of cards, I don't really believe so. He basically says Eminem shifted his release date for Kendrick Lamar. At the time of recording this, Kendrick is number one. He's right about that. Kendrick was able to drop so many songs because he's working on the Mr. Morale follow up. We don't really know about that. And then he says Eminem is moving up his release date because his album is done, and whatever summer date he had originally planned will be when Kendrick drops his album album i don't think so i mean look at how planned out this was i don't think there's any way eminem shifted his album maybe he'll change his mind once he sees this i don't really know then he makes a good point right here for this being eminem's last album i'm leaning towards no his last project was curtain call 2 a greatest hits album why would you drop a greatest hits and then just quit like that doesn't really make sense like we also talked about in the beginning it's an alter ego right it's not eminem quitting and i also said a couple seconds ago i think he's bringing back b rabbit from the eight mile movie with the battle rapping so i think even if he kills off the slim shady character it's not over but this guy has a point too remember how i said he's messaging all contacts like that's his contact name didn't really make sense he says all contacts make sense for the tracklist theory basically he's sending out all the features i guess on may 31st this other guy says eminem doesn't drop tracklist anymore that's because kamikaze was a surprise album and i think music to be murdered by was as well i do think the tracklist is dropping i don't agree with this bottom guy right here but for the features i don't really know that's kind of a stretch saying all contacts is the feature list like we don't really know that but if i go back to this tracklist at midnight thing i don't think there's any way the tracklist comes out unless a single comes with it like he's not just gonna post a picture of the tracklist i think he's gonna drop the single you click it and it shows the track list like i explained earlier it's not going to be one or the other and as far as these people saying a rollout's not going to happen i know this guy didn't exactly say that but i've seen that around that's exactly what we're getting like if you pay attention we're getting these trailers these teasers these hints these reposts like like even royce to five nine reposted this which is teasing that he's on the album i consider this a rollout like we're getting a lot of information about it as the days go on this is some good news for the og eminem fans or if you like the old slim shady persona if i have to give you a forecast you are going to hear a whole nod back to some of his original creative areas he's talking about about where he came from and where he is now which like i said that ties back into b rabbit talking about where he came from but hey i'm just saying but yeah that's all i had to talk about i mean if you tie all these things in like i said may 31st deck of cards may 31st on here the only thing that shipped late was the overpriced item that's just blank white I think he could slip something in there. If you order that, you're lucky. You probably have something worth value coming. So I guess just keep paying attention. Set your calendar for May 31st. If anything does happen May 31st, I'll be the first to post about it. I'll make a video on it explaining everything we know. Like I said, every day that goes on, we're learning more and more. There's more and more hints that are being teased throughout all of these promos and merch drops. So we just got to keep paying attention. If you want to get caught up with all the hints on Eminem's next album, make sure to click on my channel because I have a bunch of updates on it. You can just get up to date with everything we know. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you want to see more Eminem videos, click right up here. I have a playlist full of brackets rankings tier list updates like i just said so make sure to check that out i appreciate all of you watching this far into the video if you enjoyed it leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike thank you for watching peace out